James is the show me prophet. And if we take a look at what James shares, this verse today is going to make you literally shudder. This is from the second chapter as James is speaking, and he's talking over and over and over about our faith and our deeds matching up with one another. In fact, this has been an area that people have fought about for years and years and years. But James takes us to a place where he talks about something that we don't even consider many times, we don't even think about. But if you read Matthew chapter four or Luke chapter four, you'll see the devil actually with Jesus. Jesus in his weakened state, and he's trying to tempt him over and over and over to take part of this world, to be a part of this world, not just in loving others and caring others, but to take every single part of it in honor of him. Think about this for a second. The devil used to be an angel. He took one third of the angels with him. He knows how God thinks and he knows what God wants from each one of us. But listen to what James says. You believe that there is one God. Good. Even the demons believe that and shudder. In other words, they think about that and they completely freeze and they shake because of it, because they realize that this world where we're at is temporary, and we are temporary beings with an eternal purpose. Where is it that your faith is matching up with what you do for an eternal purpose? Because everything we do is not just for here and now. It is for eternity. The loving, caring, kind Savior who extends us grace every day. Rest in that, and we'll see you tomorrow.